This comes from a son, right? His son's streaking past. Why, why is the lens flare there? Hey guys, and welcome back to the Toxic Planet Mama Zarita! Yeah, we are being rained on in no man's sky and watching these beautiful shadows go across the, uh, the planet's surface here. Yeah, that's smooth. That's real smooth. Honest. Uh, we are just basically walking around trying to find these uh, manufacturing facilities because they give us uh, crafting recipes. Sorry, the whole sort of getting a milestone every time I just take a walk somewhere and talk to you guys about something really is... Um, it kind of robs robs the whole awesomeness of the milestones, you know? I'm getting them literally every five seconds. We've got places we can go. There's one over there and there is one all the way over there. We have already been to one there. What is that though? I do not know. Uh, let's go see if we've broken into this place because I can't quite remember. Yes. Yes, we did. All right, cool. So from these places, we've got the uh, recipe for antimatter from over there. And then the recipe for some of the bits that we need for the recipe of antimatter from this place. And I'm hoping if we carry on searching, we'll just find all sorts of stuff that gives us um, the recipes to make all the antimatter. If I come into my inventory, I could probably explain what I mean a little bit better you can see here if we craft we need antimatter and for that we need the electron vapor and for the electron vapor we need the suspension fluid and the suspension fluid we need carbon thankfully the suspension fluid was what we found in this the um crafting recipe in this building behind us antimatter in the one before i don't know where i found the electron vapor bit but you know that that's the thing uh, i'm gonna go search that one out am i gonna take my my ship no no i'm not because i found out what uh, I found out what this thing does, which is call your ship from a long way away. So we're going to walk. We're going to walk maybe through all those caves over there. Ooh, look, it's a new species of animal. Should we go over and uh, give them a scan? Maybe we can... Oh, look, it's one of the ones that with the red dots underneath their feet. That means we fill in uh, a bit on our discoveries page, which I will show you. Now, do you think it's going to have a go at me because there is a small one there? I don't know. I'm kind of hoping so. Can I search? Are you going to let me search? Why can't I search this yet? Not search, scan. I mean, I'm, I'm pushing up. There we go. I was obviously too far away for it. Uh, the Figosai Heidegium. The Heidegiums, um, so I'm going to go with there, I think, is the one. Let's uh, come up in here and see what we got. There they are. Brilliant. Okay, let's name that up, shall we? I think we're going to call them the Heidegiums. Yeah, that works for me. Works well for me. And we got some money. Look at that. Brilliant. Well, this doesn't look at all dangerous. Let's try and fly over. No, jetpack's going to let me down. Let's try and get down here. Now, I do know if we do a melee attack, or I have been told, rather. I'm not, I don't know. If we do a melee attack, we can get a little bit more boost out of the jump pack. But I can't even figure out how to do the melee attack, really. I think I've got to unequip my multi-tool or something silly like that. And that, that sounds a bit weird. Much like every Bethesda game ever, mountains will not hold me back. Oh, this one might do, actually. Okay, that was good. Because I was, like, pushing up against the wall, it let me have uh, infinite jump up there. It, I'm sure that's the one we've been to already. Uh, but I was kind of headed to one over here somewhere. I've lost my marker. There it is. There it is. Something else that's obviously a species that we can't scan. Disappointing. Hello. What do we have here? It is a big one of these. Mmm, I love them big. Tribute to Depli... De Deliposis? Something like that? I don't know. We'll, we'll go with that. Hey, there was no eye, so there was no way it was going to be a cis. The imprint of an ancient civilization was once absorbed by this strange marker. The story of the Vikren somehow spills out in a language of my own people. The noble travellers will spread. Their journey through the cosmos shall not be thwarted. So it is decreed. The will of Herc commands it. Can we not have a Kirk, please? No? Okay. The Vicreen shall honour the judgement and beliefs of the ancients. Yeah, teach me something. Teach me something. My knowledge of the Vicreen increases. I learned the word for detection. Well, that's, um, that's very nice. Not quite what I'm after, though. Plus, that was not what I was wanting to find. I wanted to find another outpost, which I think is that thing over there. There's a ship going towards the waypoint I'm going towards. Maybe we'll find some... Oh no, my life support is falling and my toxic protection. Now my life support I can just kind of 
do up with things that I find lying around here, blow up a mushroom or something. But the toxic protection, I'm not sure what I need to do that up. Oh, hey. Hey, who are you here? Oh, you're one of the ones I've already found, aren't you? Let's just scan him to make sure. Oh, it's a new guy. He looks exactly like something I've already seen. Hey, let's uh, let's feed you. Yeah, I mean, look. you got your small back legs and your, your big front legs and your weird face. Let's have a look in here. Oh, yeah, he looks almost exact. Ah, almost exactly the same. So this is obviously the world of big, f big front feet, small back feet with this weird hump thing on the go. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, what are we going to name this? It is the Zobichi Mushimutu. Yeah. Okay. We're going to call it the Zobichi. Just, you know, because, I mean, did you hear him? Cannot accept this name that's been rejected by the profanity filter. Oh, really? Well, we'll just, look, here is the problem with profanity filters. You could just spell things a little differently and it sounds almost exactly the same Zobayachi I mean how's that oh no their profanity filter actually works we'll go with Zobuchi I mean what yeah let's do that let's do that oh finally it's the plant that I've been looking for the whole oh, not you oh go away you uh, the whole reason I'm here is for this Tharium. Uh, let's try and click that there. Finally, my pulse engine can get a boost. Also, let's use my bowcaster. What was it? X to bowcaster? Boltcaster. I know what I'm trying to say here. And get some carbon off of that thing. Now, this might be a bad thing. Uh, okay, so if my toxic protection is running out, how... We ooh, ooh, this might also be a bad thing. How are we supposed to um, boost it back up? Now, I know there are a few flowers out and about that can do that. But I've not seen any around for some time. That's probably all pl uh, plutonium over there. Here is a platinum silicate plant. That's still not what we're looking for. Okay, so my hope is that I can just get down to this outpost before my toxic protection completely runs out. I, I hope. Oh, oh, what's this? Well, we found the esque. But this, exactly what I was looking for. This plant is amazing. How do we how do we name that? We're going to call this like the savior plant or something like that. It's the Lolacria isoparasis. No, we're going to call it the Lol Savior. Lol Savior, of course. I mean, how could that not be the thing we need? Because, you know, right at the last second it came through and rescued me. Oh, this is not a very um, profitable area. I was kind of hoping for a, a uh, oh, excuse me, a manufacturing facility but instead i've ended up with this thing like what is this uh, let's save it first shall we man most of those containers were empty all right let's see what this is all about outpost z, z uh, zw7 85l 48t galactic trade terminal now that is very nice oh hello you've got a face on this side that's very nice should we see what we can sell to him Signal booster detected? What? How did we get that? Okay, this neutrino module. A valuable computer part, much favoured trading item. Well, let's sell that then. Always love to sell some trading items. We've got a whole load of titanium that obviously we got from blowing up Sentinel. So we want to get that out. We, we don't want to have, like, any traces of our crimes on us, do we? I'm going to sell a load of platinum as well because, you know, it's next to useless. The plutonium I use, thallium I use, zinc I use, carbon I'm going to sell because, you know, always get more carbon. And that's it. Oh, he will buy my stuff in my ship, though, and it's in my ship, and it's no good. Ah. Okay, so when I talked to it, it said that we had scanned something, and over there it says there is shelter at something else, so we, we need to go over that way. Well, we don't need to go over that way, but I'm going to go over that way because it tells me to. What has just hit me? I don't, I don't see what hit me. Do you guys see what hit me? Sometimes you got to wonder who they are, where they're going, and why the clouds are quite as grainy as they are. Uh, so it turns out the toxic protection is just part of your standard hazard protection equipment here. You can use zinc, titanium, or shielding shard to charge that up, which is great. I didn't need to find those plants, but, you know, lol saviour. Oh, in fact, I'm not being down with the kids enough. I should have called it the Kappa saviour. All right, so we found the Plains of Langyu Palm. I'm going to call it the Lyap. The Lyang -Yap. I, I think that's good. That, that, what's this? Arrive at shelter in one second. Hey, bypass chip required. Let's do that. We can make a bypass chip. We know how to do this. We've figured it out in uh, previous exist. Ah, uh, missing some iron. Daka, 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 daka. All right, bypass chip. Let's see what this shelter thing does, shall we? Uh, interact signal. It sends a thing up. 
Drop pods from orbiting freighters contain useful alien technology. Scan for their signal and use their contents to upgrade your exosuit. Yeah, okay. Uh, marker detection wavelength, local transmission, colonial outpost. Please select preferred destination. I want to scan for alien technology, right? The alien equipment flickers online and sends out an automatic transmission. I receive coordinates. How far away? Over that way somewhere. Oh man, this is that that's where I came from, isn't it? Is that not where I came from? Hey there, dude. How you doing? Well, let's check out this place anyway. Uh, can we gain access without annoying the sentinels? I'm sure we can somewhere. This looks like a, an old scientific outpost or something. Hey, it's just a storage shed. Let's, uh, let's see what's in here. Can we interact with this? Restore shield. Shield at maximum. Okay, thank you. I don't know how well that did there. I like this sort of look out of the, the slit bit here. Nearly, nearly forgot to name this place. I'm actually just going to call it uh, the EQ. Yeah, no, that's good. I hit caps lock by accident, but that will do. All right, awesome. Is this going to give me some money? It gave me some money. And more importantly, we are halfway to finishing this, which I have decided is actually the point of today's episode, is to fill this in, find out what's going on, maybe try and find all this lot as well. I don't know. We'll see. Is that an entire floating rock of resource up there? I mean, that's what I've taken this voxelization around the outside to mean of these rocks. I'm not sure if I'm, I mean it. Copper? i am yet to actually find any copper in game, so this is a, a big new thing for me. Is copper, like, so light in this universe or galaxy compared to, like, what, what's the atmospheric pressure here? Is it, like, thicker than copper? Is this it? Am I actually, like, some sort of weird, amazing cyborg that can just trudge his way through uh, an atmosphere as thick as metal? That's a thing to think about. So, we have found the Kijoli Flats. That's how you pronounce that, right? C-I-J-O-L, Kijoli. Yeah. Maybe put an L on, uh, a Y on the end of it, make it Kijoli. So, what is this drop pod, then? This is where it's been... Uh, leading us. It's pretty nice. Force field on the front. Do you reckon we can just walk into it? Oh, look. Oh, look. It's got one of these EVA fighting thing, uh, upgrading places. Uh, exosuit upgrade. Let's do it. What's it going to do? What we should have done? Oh, it's added an extra slot here. We will uh, take that. Thank you. That is so nice. Uh, we could have done... Yeah, could have done with more of those, really, I suppose. Let's have a look in our inventory quick. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so we can upgrade our exosuit by at least two more times. So that's something to watch out for. And at the same time, let's make a quick save here. Obviously, I didn't mean a, a quick save. It's not like, you know, F5 doesn't quite work like that. But, you know, we did a save that was relatively quick. So there are lots more question marks around me. I appear to be miles away from my spaceship. Now, which one do we want to go to? Well, actually, what we want to go to first is rename this area. Yeah, Kojoli, of course. I mean, why, why would that not be what this place is called? Nice. Uh, Discovery's uploaded and earned more money. Oh, hey, there's a small fleet coming in. Should we just watch these guys fly overhead? I mean, wonder where they're going. Should we follow them? I think following them might be a good idea. Let's go this way. They, they appear to be headed over that way, so I'm going to go over that way as well because it's a question mark, and question marks are good, right? Oh, wow. Okay, so they're just doing random patrols. All right, maybe maybe not headed far for them then. So I have stumbled upon a large antenna. I can only presume this is a pirate radio station. Try oh, no! That hurt. That hurt a lot. Oh, man. All right, we need to try and get back up there. Thankfully, I kind of think like we're in the right area. I just need that jetpack to recharge. I ran out of Look how small that gap is. Why didn't I just make it across there? What's the deal with that? All right, maybe, maybe I depleted my jetpack a little bit too much. One thing I have noticed is if you kind of push into the wall as you jetpack up, it kind of thinks your feet are on the floor a lot of the time, so you can uh, get away with using that to keep your jetpack charged. All right, let's activate this waypoint and see what happens. We didn't get any discovery names, so... Ooh, ooh we're, we're, we're scanning out from this. So that's where I'm going, to the bottom right there. Oh, there is one directly south from me as well, but that's pretty... Yeah, that... Hmm... Advanced life form detected. Well, that just happens to be where I'm going. 12 minutes away, though. Ow. So I've decided to take the caves to get through the mountain to come over towards this intelligent species. But just a little something. You... Do you guys hear that water? Do you guys see any water? I don't. I don't even see, like, slick down the walls or dripping stalagmites or anything like that. Oh! 
Oh, it's raining inside and my toxic levels have gone up. Wow. Why is it raining inside? I mean, I, I know I was literally just complaining about how there was no water around. But look, here we go. Here's an exit. All right, that must be where the, the water's coming from, right? Uh, now, look, my little um, objective marker in the corner there was telling me that I need a load of this stuff. Now, there is a sentinel here, but I do believe they don't give a monkeys about whether I take the hardarium or not. So let's find out. Let's... Whoa! I keep forgetting that these offensive plants are a thing. Let's try and knock that out. Brilliant. Okay, let's try and get some of this. I mean, if I could undermine it all, that would be great. Do you reckon it's just going to float? I mean, there are a lot of floating things in this game already, so let's try it. Yeah, it floats. Ooh, box of stuff. What have we got? A jettison pod. A power canister? Yeah, power! I'm really looking for Tharium rather than Plutonium, though Plutonium seems to be the one that everybody stores. That's a little bit unfortunate. Alright, this must be the Valley Marker. Oh, we should have come out of that that uh, tunnel back there, but no, we didn't. We walked across. Uh, what are we going to get from this neutral cargo deposit? we got a Fascination Bee. I hate them. I don't, I don't know what they can do. Uh, what, are we going to save it here so that we can give it a new name? I don't know what we're going to name it. Probably something quite rude, given that it's got Bang in the name. We're just going to call it Zera's Bang. Oh, wow, I have done lots of little um, weird punctuations there but we're gonna go little, deal with it we're gonna deal with it if you can pronounce one of those like a i'll be happy um all right let's move on we have found lac zion crossing i wonder what this place is oh look there's a new species is that a new species the one we've already found we have already found zobuchi wow what a frame stutter there great game guys great game okay let's go and have a look see what we got going on over here uh yeah, let's save it first. Always the first thing we do when we arrive somewhere, surely. So, what is this place? Is this a manufacturing plant? It kind of looks like one, but the fact that it's called a crossing makes me think that maybe it's not. The door is wide open, or rather, it doesn't have locks on it. I'm walking inside, what is that? Toxicity level subsided? That? What is that there? What does that tell us? It's a little point in the middle of space. I don't know. Can we interact with anything around here? Access multi... Oh, analyze multi-tool tech. Uh, we have found some accelerated... No, reload acceleration sigma. Ooh. Ooh, does that speed up my reload? We'll, we'll, we'll have a look at that. some of this stuff probably next episode because this episode has been a lot of uh, exploration. Okay, is this going to fire up the, uh, the hologram? Look, there's a thing there. Let's try it. Let's see what's going to go on. Long ago, it seems, an automated distress call went unanswered. If I can crack the encryption pattern, I could potentially extract the coordinates. Uh, what's this? Oh, uh, here we go. 1, 2, 6, 24, 120. Uh, 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 oh, there's a pattern here somewhere, isn't there? Is it times 3? No, 6, 3 is not 24. I want to say 6, 20, but I'm not entirely sure why. No signal found. Oh, maybe there was a pattern there that I didn't know about. But, you know, whilst recording, I can't do maths in my head. I may have pointed this out to you before. Uh, it's just, you know, pressure. Pressure. Okay, so we failed to get whatever was going on there. But we did get some tools for our uh, multi-tool. So that's pretty good. And I'm trying to look to see if there's a way of summoning my ship around here. Because, oh my, I'm a little bit bored of walking now. Okay, so we're in the other room, so we just came from there and we've walked into here. We can get a new bit of multi-tool. We can boost our range. That's nice, actually. That is very, very nice. Uh, let's go and have a look out of here. Maybe we could uh, try that range boost, actually. Okay, so obviously it's going to be something that we put in here. Let's uh, click to install the technology. So we can only put one more thing on our multi-tool. We can either range boost, um, impact damage, do that up a little bit more. I'm not sure. Let's have a look at the uh, the damage one. May maybe this is what we want, the plus four impact damage. I know, we'll get on that. We'll get on that. Um, right, so I couldn't find any way of summoning my ship. Maybe I'm just being blind and loads of you will be leaving angry comments down below. But we're just going to have to live with that. Sorry, guys. <gasps> there it is. There it is. Uh, no, uh, this sentinel showed me the way. He showed me the way. Uh, let's go see what we are missing to summon my vessel in, shall we? Oh, as it happens, nothing. So let's build, build the bypass chip and come in and open this up. Call my starship to me. Where are you? I need you here. Oh, that, that was quick. Well done, man. Well done. Now, we could take the moment now to build the antimatter, but I ain't going to do that. We're going to try and find out where this uh, uh, 
a little bit further around, a little bit, a little bit further around, that way, go, 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 go. Okay, so amazingly, there really wasn't far to go and find this guy. Initiate the landing sequence, please. Landing area not clear. I don't care. I want to put down close to this guy. So yeah, that really wasn't a long flight. A lot better. Oh, you mean I can't park on this? I really did want to. Oh, I can jump over the railings though. Whoa! This guy just tried to land on my face. Did you guys see that? Did you see that? I saw that. All right, let's go in there and have a look at this advanced daily. Oh, it's one of you guys. I can't remember who you're called, but hi. Um, <laughs> I thought there was a, like a profanity uh, filter on this. Did you see that? Here, here we go. Let me try and pronounce this place for you. Well, no. No, okay, maybe we found a person rather than a place. But anyway, let's let's interact with him, shall we? I am an interloper, probably. Okay. The warrior looks at me with its fire and eyes. The species is clearly aggressive. I doubt I'm welcome, yet the life form bows in greetings. Tradition and honour perhaps dictate it. I don't feel I'm in imminent danger, and I'm about to turn and leave when the creature, creature points towards my multi-tool. It barks with concern and makes a motion to suggest that I should hand it over. Ah, uh, go on. Trust in the world, right? The warrior nods in satisfaction and it offers me an improved replacement tool. <gasps> Look at all these slots. How many slots you got, bruh? Yeah, love it. Love it. Okay, we'll take this. We'll take this. Ah, oh, look at it. Um, except... I mean, I, I know it's not the my standing with the Vicreen has increased. Brilliant. Amazing. It's a good job. It's a good job. What is this thing over here? Ooh. Uh, no, I'm going to leave his weapon alone. Um, you, you don't touch a warrior's piece, you know? You don't touch a warrior's piece. <laughs> you do, however, raid his um, technology database. Yeah? Plasma launcher! Mm, plasma! Yeah, maybe we can do that. And there is a trading outpost, but I think we'll do that later. What I want to do now is, of course, let's finish this hyperdrive quest, shall we? All right, we're into the ship and into our inventory. Oh, gosh. I think what I want to do first is try and sell all these random things that I've got. Like the power canister, it's useful, but it's not as useful as the money is. Get Nick, get, get Charm, the Radox. Well, anyway, let's forget all that. What, what can we get rid of? Okay, so the first thing we want to make is this suspension fluid. Nice and easy. Lots of carbon. We should be able to do that. Okay, the next thing is, of course, this electron vapor. Boom! And then finally, if all the stars align for us, antimatter is ours. You would have thought I would have needed some, like, big equipment for that, right? Like a synchrotron or a hadron collider or something like that. But no, I just do it in the cockpit of my vessel. You know, could you imagine the radiation that came off the creation of antimatter? Yet here I am, walking around yet more proof that i am in fact a robot but with that ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure i will see you next time where well actually wait let's 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 do this quickly so that we can finish up properly doing everything we wanted to do this was the laz can valley or something like that but that we're gonna call it the laz can valley uh it that, that, yeah that's close enough whatever okay now that we've done that what is it gonna give us nothing nothing Ah, maybe we need to go around and find all the various animals. What, like, what's that? What, what's that white dot now in the middle of my my HUD? Not, not, not this white dot that you're looking at, but over here next to that white dot. What is that? But anyway, I'll see you next time when we're gonna go around and find out all these things. Bye. Maybe we could craft a warp cell or not.